On this episode of Resi Week, we talk to Cedia's new co-CEOs, as well as Epson's suing over specs, and theaters are just like fine wine. All this and more on this episode of Resi Week. The network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is is AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation. This is Resi Week, episode 253, Emotive Language. Support for AV Nation is brought to you by Vanco International. Learn the technology behind the award-winning EVOIP, AV over IP system. Become EVOIP certified today. And by Peerless AV, driving technology through innovation. Welcome to this episode of Resi Week. This is your weekly roundup of all the latest news and stories for the residential AV industry. I'm your host, Matthew Scott, for AVNation.tv. And this week, I'm pleased to be joined by two of my good friends. First, we have Mr. Giles Sutton. He is currently uh, the SVP of Industry Engagement and something new that we'll get into in a second from Cedia. How are you doing, Giles? Hi, Matt. I'm doing well. It's great to be here. Thanks. Thank Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Then we have Alex Capasolantro. He's the founder of Josh AI. How are you doing, Alex? Doing great. It's good to be here. Thank you for being here as well. Uh, before we kick off some stories, and we have a bunch to get to, um, Alex, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is, is, this, is this you? Is this you and Josh AI? Is it Josh AI? Um, you guys are doing a really cool uh, industry secret Santa for those in the US, which excludes both Giles and myself, but you know, it, it's still, it's a great start. <laughs> um, just before we jump into uh, the stories of the day, tell us why you guys decided to, to jump into the Secret Santa world of fun. Yeah, so this is something that I think about every year and truly just, it's always a thought that doesn't happen. And I think with COVID, I finally said, you know, it's not a lot of work to make a very first version get off the ground. It doesn't need to be a lot. And we just said, you know what, let's keep it just to the U.S. for now so that shipping costs, everything else are pretty reasonable. But just put it out there and said, who in the industry would like to be part of a Secret Santa? For those who don't know, Secret Santas are kind of brilliant because you set a a price cap of sort of, you know, everyone getting a gift about the same price. And then you send it completely anonymously. And so you don't know who got you. You fill out a little form of what things you might want, what things to avoid. You know, so if you like wine, if you have a dog, that kind of stuff. Um, and we had about 50 people sign up for it. Um, it's underway right now. And it's been really fun kind of seeing people's engagement. And I just think this is something that we as an industry can do so much bigger next year. And so I'm actually glad that we've got Giles here with Cedia and, you know, even you know, Matt talking about aviation and everything that you do, I think we can make this a global thing where, you know, there's sort of a Canadian version, maybe a a UK version. Um, And I think we just make it a full on industry thing next year, because honestly, it doesn't take a lot of effort, but it's super fun. And the brilliant part is once people start getting their gifts, trying to figure out a place where they can share what they got, because that's when the real fun comes out. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we we just kicked this off, uh, sent out the uh, matches yesterday so it's really fresh um, and i'm excited to see what people end up doing with it yeah it, it's a really cool initiative and uh I, I think we can work something out for next year and, and try to grow this uh, a little bit internationally too because we matter too outside of the u.s just don't try and ship liquor across the borders that's a whole other uh animal so so don't touch that uh the other thing i wanted to mention off the top is, uh, and you can see this on CE Pro and a bunch of other websites, uh, the Cedia award submissions are now open for 2021. It's a little bit earlier than normal. So go check that out. Uh, Speaking of Cedia, let's kick this off with our first story of the day that comes to us from aviation.tv. Cedia has announced their new interim co-CEOs, hence my lead in at the start. Uh, Cedia has announced that Giles Sutton, who, as we mentioned, is the Senior Vice President of Member Success and Sales, and Corey Dickerson, Senior Vice President of Operations, are going to step up together and take over as interim co-CEOs, replacing uh, Tabitha O'Connor, who's departing in January. 
Giles, uh, thank you for obviously joining us in general, but thanks for coming on to talk about uh, this new role and, and what this means. And first of all, I, I'd, I'd like you to jump in for a second and j just tell us what this means going forward. It are, obviously, there will be some changes, um, but does this change anything from kind of the, the current state of where the association is and that 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 plan and, and that um, future direction that CD has been planning to go? Thanks, Matt. Well, I think, you know, the first thing to say is um, obviously we need to recognize, you know, the, the outgoing CEO, Tabitha Connor, who, you know, was with the association for 18 years and it's on her watch that we've seen some, you know, amazing changes to the association and for someone to have been so dedicated to, um, to Celia for such a long time. I mean, it's, it's really an amazing, amazing achievement. So, um, you know, I think the interim role we feel, um, both Corey and myself really kind of humbled that the board have really sort of trusted us to, I see it as kind of taking care or sort of, you know, taking care of the association during this interim period while the board, uh, carry out its uh, search for for the long term CEO, and that that will take probably a bit of time. Probably, you know, it's going to take it's going to take months, hopefully not years, but but some months to actually determine um, the right person for that role. What Corey and I really want to do is um, really focus on you know the strategic plan that we've um, that we've had in in place um, for the last three years, and really start to 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 sort of focus our efforts. You know, we're we're in an interesting. Um, point right now with the association you know it's been a certainly a challenging year without having in-person events we haven't had you know expo it's been challenging to build you know uh, engagement with our members um, we, we we know now actually what we really need to be doing is prioritizing and um, a lot of what Corey and I want to do is is look at all the things that we do and really hone in on how we can add value to to our core customers and that's really you know the integrators um, as well as manufacturers that, are, that uh, support us. So really the first thing, first step for us is, is really laying out our plan, what, what we think we can achieve uh, during this interim period and uh, working with the board to ensure that it aligns with our strategy uh, and, 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 then, and then executing it. Yeah, very good. And again, congratulations. That's fantastic. Uh, Alex, one of the things that, that Giles touched on and, and the articles touch on it as well is that obviously this is an interim position that they're going to begin uh, a global search for a, a full-time CEO. What, is that, what does that look for? What, what should the association be looking for in a CEO? That's a great question. And for those who don't know, I do serve on the CEDIA board. So full transparency on that. Um, this is arguably the, the most important thing that I will participate in as a board member, because finding and, and setting the right CEO and the right leadership team will either put CD on the right path or potentially on a, you know, not the best path. And so we're spending a lot of time as a board really talking about what are the characteristics that we're looking for? What are the sort of past experiences that we want this person to bring to the table? But we're also talking to various industry leaders um, and past board members who have strong opinions about this. And really, we're just putting a lot of effort into what's the right job description and the right sort of qualities and traits that, that would need to be exhibited in this person to help drive CD in the right direction. And I think, you know, when we look back at the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years, we've learned a lot. You know, sometimes when people don't work out, you know, we had been Bruno for a bit who, you know, did some things great, ultimately didn't work out as a long-term CEO. We learned, a, we learned a bit, we learned about these things, you know, to look for these things, maybe to try to avoid. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be a long process. You know, typically these are six to nine month searches for any organization trying to hire a CEO um, similar to what we're trying to do, but we want to take our time. We want to do it the right way. And we're just super happy that Giles and Corey are stepping up because it makes it a really nice transition. They know the organization, they know the members, they know the strategy. And so we think we're in a really healthy place, but it will be exciting to have this conversation a year from now and to look back and say, look at everything that happened, look at the new leadership. And I'm hoping that people will feel really excited about the direction forward. Hey, thanks for watching the first segment of this week's episode. To catch the entire show, please click the link below or visit avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.